Leslie Blaskacek and welcome to Maiden River Falls. Today we're here at Rush River Brewing in the Whitetail Ridge Corporate Park just off of Highway 35 and I am here with Nick. Nick, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Leslie. Well, Thank thanks you. so much for talking to us today. No worries, no worries at all. So we are here in front of the Rush River Bar here within the brewery and, you know, Nick, people think that you have a dream job. Hmm. But I imagine there's some work involved. So you, can you talk a little bit about what it is that you do on a daily basis and some of the upside and downside of running Rush River? Sure, absolutely. Uh, we started Rush River in 2004, so it's been about 10 years now. And uh, I just started drawing a paycheck about four years ago. So it's literally been a labor of love. So uh, I, myself and Dan Chang, we started the business in 2004. Uh, we were brewers, full-time brewers, packagers. We did all the kegging operations for the first six years of the business. So uh, the first three years we spent in Maiden Rock and then we moved to River Falls in 2007. But no, it's not all glamour. It's a lot of uh, fixing pumps, rebuilding uh, compressors, uh, taking care of equipment. So it's, it's not all glamour. There's a lot of hard work and sweat equity that went into this. Now you said you started in Maiden Rock. Can you describe what that facility was like versus what this facility is like? Sure. Uh, Dan and I were brewers out in Seattle, Washington. We worked for a brewery called Mac and Jack's in Redmond, Washington. Their claim to fame was that they had more handles in the Seattle area than Budweiser. So <laughs> We moved out here in 2000 and met a guy, a gentleman named uh, Robbie Stair, who owned a restaurant called the Mud Pie Restaurant in Uptown, Minneapolis. And he had a plot of land in Maiden Rock, Wisconsin. Beautiful plot of land right up on top of the bluffs overlooking Lake Pepin. Just a picturesque, gorgeous place. And he had a pole barn. Unfortunately, this pole barn had no running water, no sewage, uh, no walls a gravel floor, and was full of uh, a lot of his collectibles, if you will. Uh, it took us uh, three years to actually construct the first facility in Maiden Rock. Uh, we, 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 we did it all ourselves, grassroots style, but uh, then we only brewed out of there for another three years, draft only, selling the majority of our product to the Twin Cities market and Western Wisconsin. And then you mentioned you came to River Falls. What made you decide to locate here in River Falls? Well, we uh, looked at a lot of little towns throughout Minnesota and Wisconsin, and the uh, EDC, the Economic Development Committee from River uh, St. Croix County, mm -hmm. came to us with an unbeatable offer of, we'll build you the facility, you can lease it from us, uh, and buy it from us eventually. So that was a, a fantastic offer. We, as I said, do everything grassroots and uh, slowly and surely, but uh, the, the prospect of having a brand new facility constructed for us was way too much to uh, turn down. Also, the beautiful part about River Falls is its proximity to the Twin Cities area, a big metropolitan area, but also you get the wonderful benefits of Wisconsin brewing laws. Wisconsin has always been supportive of its local breweries. Uh, great laws, um, moderate taxation, and uh, continuity. I mean, uh, brewing, the brewing industry in Wisconsin has always been well supported by the, both the, the, the public and also the cities. So it was a fantastic opportunity. We moved here in 2007 to open up this facility so that we could, the main reason was to get into bottles. We were doing draft only and about 50% of our business is in the bottle realm. So uh, that was the main motivation for a move to River Falls and it's been fantastic. So now that you're here in River Falls, where do you distribute? Uh, we've got about a dozen distributors. We do about half of Minnesota. We do the eastern side of Minnesota and the western edge of uh, Wisconsin. Our goal in, the years, in this year, the main goal, is actually to cover the rest of Wisconsin, the eastern edge of Wisconsin, including Milwaukee, which we've been putting off for 10 years. But that's okay because we've been growing at 20 to 30% every year. Slow growth is great and we can keep it uh, under the, uh, our, our ownership. So it's been really wonderful. So business has been good and growing in spite of the economy has been a little bumpy, but you said to me that 
even when the economy is down, that doesn't mean beer drinking goes down. Certainly not. Certainly not. And it, maybe it's a, a sad thing to say, but you know, <laughs> a, a beer is an inelastic uh, uh, commodity, much like toilet paper. So. Good times, bad times, people have a reason to drink a beer, so. And especially a great beer like Rush River, right? Absolutely, yeah. a local, unfiltered, uh, unpasteurized ale like Rush River is, is exactly a great fit for the, this area. And the craft business itself, I must say, has been the fastest growing part of the liquor business for the last decade at least. Mm -hmm. So uh, people are turning towards locally produced products uh, with people who they know who brew the beer and make the beer and run the facilities. So it's uh, a very attractive thing to the consumer is, is knowing where your product comes from. I noticed behind us here you have a number of different types of beer listed. How many do you brew on a regular basis and how do you choose what types of beer you're going to brew? Uh, we brew uh, six full-time year-round ales and then we supplement that with uh, a quor every quarter we uh, add a seasonal. So we have four seasonals and six full-time ales. Uh, beer experiments in this place is a daily occurrence. We're continually brewing five gallon batches, trying out new hops, new barley, because those are becoming available on a daily basis. They're cross-breeding hops and they're coming up with new malt varieties. So you'd be remiss if you didn't try them out. So we're constantly doing beer experiments and we're constantly coming up with new brands. The one that we've just uh, recently come out with and deemed worthy of the market is the Minion IPA, which we are just starting to dribble out into the uh, community draft only. So look for it. Okay, so people should keep their eyes peeled for those seasonal things and the regulars that you offer all the time. What about if I wanted to buy a growler of this beer? What would I do? Well, that's the, that's the best way to consume beer is, uh, you know, fresh from the brewery. You know, the, the, every step of the way, beer sits and gets old and nature takes its course. But you have the opportunity, if you are in the area, to cut, drop in here at any time. We're open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Uh, we have tours the second Saturday of every month. And you can fill up a growler, a six-gallon or a half-gallon jug of beer, 64 ounces, for 7 to $8. So fantastic way to get uh, great fresh beer. So that's what this is right here that we're sitting in front of. And can they purchase these here as well, the growler itself? They may indeed. This, is, right. uh, this is a growler, and it is, uh, it, it, in my, in my uh, assumption, it, it is the best way to uh, drink your beer. Okay. Straight from the brewery, straight now, from the mother pipeline. Now, it sounds like... Now, I'm assuming that you and Dan are not the only ones that work here now because it sounds like you're expanding mm -hmm. to bottling and more mm -hmm. flavors and so on. How many people work at this facility now? Currently, we have three brewers. We have a cellarman, and then we have a guy who's kind of our uh, the maintenance type gentleman. He does a lot of the equipment work, plumbing, electricity, that kind of thing. So we have uh, five of us. Plus, when we bottle, uh, which is every Tuesday, we bottle twenty to 30,000 bottles. Uh, we bring in five or six people from the community to uh, pack the uh, bottles into uh, the cases. So, so you're expanding? Absolutely. Uh, this is the big year. This is a big year. This is a big push. You know, last year we finally purchased the building from the uh, EDC, which was fantastic. They gave us a little leeway. We needed a little extra time. That's okay. Uh, but now it's ours, and we have enough uh, uh, land in order to quintuple the size of this facility. So that's a really big bonus for a brewery. So River Falls is gonna be our, our home for a very long time. But yes, uh, this year, the big push is for Eastern Wisconsin, Green Bay, Madison, Milwaukee area, get those people rolling in Rush River beer. So, All right, little sounds taste good. of the West Coast. Yeah, that sounds good. In yeah. fact, I have, to, I have to tell you, Nick, I was actually up in Ely, Minnesota, which is way up north, and I saw Rush River there. So you're making inroads all over the place. It's very interesting, the Ely community. I mean, it's very seasonal, but, but you know, in a small town like that, we've got five tap handles, which is almost silly. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with that for sure. So Nick, we're in your facility here, and you have a number of tanks that are here. What's the capacity of all these tanks? Well, what we do is we brew 500 gallon batches. So we brew uh, between two and four batches per day, and we brew about three to four days per week. Uh, we used to brew into a thousand gallon tanks, and now we're moving up to the 2,000 gallon tanks. So we have two uh, 2,000 gallon fermenters, and we have five 30 gal or 1,000 gallon fermenters, and then we have six 
2,000 gallon conditioning tanks in the cold room. So uh, our capacity this year, uh, our, our, what we plan to make is about five to 6,000. I think with the tanks that we have now, we can do about 7,000. So we have enough uh, room to support Milwaukee and the eastern side of the state for sure. So. And so if I live in River Falls and I'm really interested in a tour, what's the first step? The first step is uh, signing up online. Uh, go to rushriverbeer.com. We have a tour the second Saturday of every month. You sign up online, just shoot us a, a note saying how many people you have. And the tours start at 1 p.m. the second Saturday of every month. So. Okay, and what about if I want to taste a type of Rush River beer that I've never tried before? What do I do? You're welcome to come in here and sample our, our ales, especially, you know, if you're a growler buyer. Absolutely. We'll, we'll give you a sample of any of our beers, for sure. Okay, so, Nick, you said you're here in River Falls. You've purchased your building. You're set to expand. Why River Falls? River Falls is a fantastic place to be. First of all, you get the wonderful benefits of Wisconsin law. You're so close to a major metropolitan area. Uh, you have the ability to distribute it, your beer to that big uh, area and that, that large group of people. Um, but more importantly, you get a, a little bit of a small town feel in River Falls. So you're, you're selling beer all day in, in the Twin Cities, but you get to go back to River Falls and you have a really nice community waiting for you in River Falls. A fantastic place to be. I mean, they're definitely promoting business and they're definitely trying to help out the small business person. So, I mean, uh, other than that, and beating traffic both ways, it's a fantastic place to be. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. We're so proud that you're with us here in River Falls. Thanks, Nick. Very good. Thank you.